man. Everybody, do you know what this is? I know, an envelope. That's right. In the past, people would correspond using letters. And today, we'll write some too. Miss Sandy, can we write letters to anyone we want? Mm-hmm, of course. I'm gonna write to the bakery's pastry chef. <laughs> I'll write to one of Team Dino's fans. Doodoo, have you decided who to write to yet? <laughs> it's a secret. Mm. You know, I'd like to receive some letters, baby. Okay, Gordon, then we'll, we'll write letters to you. Look, this is the way you write a letter. The address goes up there. And if you don't know how to write, you can draw a picture. Okay, let's get started then. What do you say? Okay! Miss Sandy, can I have another sheet of paper? Golly, you've drawn a lot already. You're not done yet? Mmm, I've got a lot that I want to share. Can you tell me who you're writing the letter to? Sorry, it's a secret. All right, I understand. Miss Sandy, I'm done. All right, everybody. Let's all go and post the letters together. Yay! See this? This is our own post box. Let's place the letters we wrote earlier in here. All right! go in. Ah, uh, why were there two noises? And now, we just need to wait for the postman to collect the letters. Great! Miss Sandy, what time is the postman going to show up? I want to see the postman collect my letter personally. Look over there, you guys. The postman has just pulled up. Hey, hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Postman. Okay, now let's make way so he can get through. Hey, hey thanks, folks. Mr. Postman, are you going off to deliver the letters now? Not quite. I have to send them to the post office headquarters first. They'll sort them out there. Then they'll be delivered to the towns they're addressed to. Oh. This is strange. Did you children put these letters in? Yeah! This envelope looks really old. The writing's worn, too. And judging from the address, it's two or three decades old. How is it possible that a letter that old could be in our exclusive post box? We've been holding annual letter posting events from here. When I pushed my letter into the post box before, I did hear two landing sounds. Huh? Perhaps that letter was stuck at the entry slot and got knocked into the post box when you pushed yours in. Let me see. Huh? There's no stamp on the envelope. According to postal regulations, I can't deliver a letter without a stamp. But this letter might be important, right, Miss Sandy? I have an idea. I can help to deliver it. We don't have to trouble the postman with it. I'm sure Gordon will have a way. Yeah, that's right. Gordon will have a way to do it. Well, I guess we better call him then. There's an emergency! Gordon, we have a decades-old letter here. We'd like to deliver it. So we're gonna need you. I got it! Go, go, bus! Gordon is on the case! Beep, beep! Buddy, we're color ready! Nano transformation ready! Go, go, bus! Gordon, transform! <laughs> To track down the recipient of a letter from 30 years ago, I'll choose a police car! Gordon, transform! Officer Gordon, let's go!
Officer Gordon is on the case. Beep, beep. Gordon. Gordon, there's no name on this envelope. Just a decades-old address and a four-leaf clover. Can you find the recipient? No problem. Beep, beep. Then I'll leave this letter in your care. You can rest assured, Miss Sandy. We're gonna deliver this letter. <laughs> The address we have isn't even on the map, so I'm gonna have to access the database to use a map from 30 years ago. Dudu, do you think you can check the navigation map and guide me? Sure. Mm -hmm. I got it. Go straight, then turn left at the next junction and straight on. <laughs> right. Hmm? That's strange. There should have been a road that passes through here. I guess it's because the city keeps changing so fast. A building's been put up where the road was. Let's go around. Hmm, according to the old map, we have to keep driving along this old road, Gordon. Okay, beep beep. We just need to cross the bridge to get to our destination. But it's been sealed off. Hmm. This bridge is just too old. It's no longer safe. Let's find another way. Hmm. Got it. Dudu, hold on tight. You've got it, Gordon. Destination reach! Beep beep! Is this the place? It was hard to get here, and now it looks like it's been deserted. The four-leaf clover bracelet on that lady's wrist is the same as on the envelope. She might be the letter's recipient. Ma'am, excuse me. Oh, hello, young man. What can I do for you? Well, you see, I have this letter, and I think it might be for you. Huh? Huh? Hey, Don, I have a very special letter here. Oh, <laughs> I wrote this letter to you when I was a student at Sunshine Forest Kindergarten. I didn't think that this would ever show up. It sure brings back good memories. Thank you, Gordon. And thank you, brave little boy, for delivering this special letter. <laughs> it was nothing. Our old house with so much sentimental value is about to be demolished. And so Mama has been feeling a little unhappy. But receiving this today, brings back good family memories. It's true, I do miss the past, and times are always changing, but that sweet drawing showing up has made me feel so much happier. Thank you so much. There's no need, because I'm a little postman today, and that's my duty. <laughs> Come on, it's getting late. We better head back. Mm. <laughs> Here, please take this. That's a symbol of happiness. Let every day be a happy day for you. If you're going back to the kindergarten, just drive down this road. If you keep on straight that way, it'll only take a few minutes. A, a few, few minutes? minutes? But we followed the old map and it took us almost a whole day to get here. 30 years of transformations have brought about more convenient routes. <laughs> <laughs> Doo -doo. Huh? we have to get back. Beep beep. Goodbye. Goodbye! Dudu, am I the recipient of your letter? 
Sorry, I can't tell you yet. It's a secret. <laughs> Keeping you all happy is my mission. Beep, beep. Hey, hey! So, children, major changes in communication technology have transformed the way we communicate. Ancient people used knotted ropes and pigeons, beacons, couriers, kites, and all sorts of things. But now we have phones, fax machines, and the internet. Communication is so convenient now. And I hope you'll make use of that convenience to always keep in touch with loved ones. Well, that's everything for today. Take care.